Good morning everyone. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button with the bell notifications on. So today doing a little bit of sampling in an adit. We've sort of neglected this adit just because of gate access. We've been waiting from Mosaic Forest Management, but yeah. So lots of issues there. Been trying to get gate access for about 10 months now. We've been in contact with them and we just keep getting neglected. So we decided to head out and we were prepared to do a three kilometer hike in, three kilometer hike out, uh, but the gate was open. So we're risking it all for you guys. Uh, we went behind the gate and hopefully they don't lock it on us. So 20 minute, 25 minute hike up there. We'll see you guys at the mine. Always nice when you have a trail there. A lot of the places we go aren't this easy for access. You can see lots of rocks here, granodiorite. Got the mine dump right here. And here is the lower added entrance. Up there is the upper entrance where the stope is and uh, the main mineralization. There's a rope ladder over there, or just a rope. Got to climb up there to get up there. For now, we'll go down here and take a look. So not too much in the way of mineralization here. You can see the old tracks there. Obviously someone has been here in the last four or five months because this was not here last time we were here. Looks like there's a second stoped up area there. Have to check that out. So you can see here, this looks like uh, quartz carbonate and uh, you have that surrounding a quartz vein. You can see the little bits of copper mineralization there. All along in here. So I think what we want to do is, for now, focus on this lower area because we did some work up top. We will check it out after, but I can see some solid mineral here. I think what we're going to want to do is take a sample. I mean, there's nothing crazy for mineralization, but you still got some there. Let's 
So that's it. For this cross cut here, you can see you got nice little stringers cutting through. Definitely quartz carbonate. So this vein here, if you take a look, it looks like it went up here and connected like that and that's what they were working. So you can see right here, you got some molybdenite. which is a sulfide containing molybdenum, often other minerals as well. You also have bornite. Bornite is a copper sulfide, about 65% uh, copper by weight. And that's what you see all in here. Molybdenum, copper sulfides, bornite. And again, there's your post rock there. So I'm seeing about uh, two samples we could potentially pull off. All right, let's go check out uh, the other portion of the edit on the lower side. And you got more rail tracks here. Got a nice uh, little incline shaft here at the back. Water looks really clear. It'd be cool to dive down in there. So up here you have the stoped up area and uh, that's where the main mineralization is all up in here. Last portion here of the lower part of the attic flooded a bit so we won't go there but you can see the same kind of vein falling the same angle as the lower portion of what's behind me and then up here in the stope looks like they chased it going up and it extends a ways back in there and uh, opens up to about 350 centimeters wide at the largest portion. So I think there's another sample we could potentially pull off right in here. You can see all that right in there. That's your molybdenite. Up here you have copper sulfides. That looks like chalcopyrite. And then over here there is a bit of bornite. So another good area to pull a sample from there. Solid calcopyrite all along in here. You have bornite mixed with calcopyrite up there. It's about 30 centimeters wide here. So this looks like it goes in a decent ways. Can't see the back. Flashlight's probably going back about 30 feet. But again, you can see that same vein along here, and I see a nice, nice patch along here of uh, solid calcopyrite, which we will sample as well. You can see there's three spikes here, look like railroad track spikes. First couple samples here. You can 
see the purplish brittle metal that's molybdenite so it seems like it's in contact with your post rock just a solid hunk of mineral Samples here, looking like boronite and uh, a little bit of molybdenite, right there. More here, basically just uh, molybdenite here. Maybe a minor amount of boronite. So, here's the samples we got so far. Solid hunk of boronite right there. Molybdenite with quartz carbonate and quartz. From the bottom of the stope, boronite and calcopyrite. Got molybdenite there. Boronite, calcopyrite, and molybdenite. We got our samples from this lower portion of the attic. We're gonna head up in here. You guys will have to stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.